Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So first of all I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. Touch our toes. Back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. And then back down to touch your toes. And now hands on hips. And let's have a wiggle side to side. Stop, and then another wiggle. Stop, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and stop. And now we'll go round and round, round and round. Stop, and then back the other way. Give our spines a nice stretch the other way. And stop. And let's shake it out, guys. Arms and legs. Have a shake. Shake it out. Very good. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So in the previous couple of science lessons, we've been learning about a particular group of animals. Invertebrates, excellent, very well remembered. So let's first of all write the word invertebrates on the board. I N V E R T E B R A T E S. Excellent, guys, all together, invertebrates. And who can remember? Why do we group animals as invertebrates? No backbone, well remembered. Invertebrates are the group of animals that do not have a backbone. No, N-O, backbone. A-C-K-B-O-N-E. Invertebrates, no backbone. 
Now, who can remember some of the animals that we've met in the last couple of lessons that are invertebrates? Excellent. A very good example of an invertebrate is a jellyfish. Its body is all soft and squishy, like jelly, because it has no skeleton and no backbone. So jellyfish, J-E-L-L-Y. And then fish, Jellyfish is an example of an invertebrate. But there are others. Octopus is another one. Octopus is similar to a jellyfish, but it's bigger. Remember the things? Octopus don't have legs, neither do jellyfish. What do they have? Tentacles. Eight tentacles. Jellyfish. Octopus. Good examples of invertebrates. Any others? Starfish is another one. Starfish looks like a star, hence its name. But it does not have any skeleton. Therefore, no backbone, and it's a invertebrate. T-A-R-F-I-S-H. Okay, so all of these animals so far live where? Where do we find these animals? In the sea. Jellyfish. Octopus. Starfish. Now let's think on land. Who can think of some worm? Spider. Okay, there's two good examples. Worm. W-O-R-M. There was two types of worms that we learnt about. Round worm and, and flat worm. So we can say round and flat. And then I heard another good example. Spider. spider. Yes. Spiders are arthropods. Remember them group of invertebrates, over one million different species, the largest group of animals on the planet. Spiders belong to. S-P-I-D-E-R. S or spider. And then how about the animals with claws? Crabs, yes, we had crab. C R A B. And then one more we'll do, similar to a crab, not the snake, the snake's coming up in today's snail, yes. Well done. Sorry, I misheard. I thought I heard snake. What you said? Snail. S N A I L. And remember, the snails belong to the family of invertebrates known as mollusks, the ones that have the shells. So, guys, that's brilliant. We've got some really good examples there. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Octopus. Octopus. Starfish. Starfish. Roundworm. Roundworm. Flatworm. Spiders. Spider. Crab. Crab. Snail. Yeah. All belong to the group of animals known as invertebrates. And why are they called invertebrates? No backbone. That was brilliantly remembered, guys. Very well done. So in today's lesson, we're going to move on and we're going to look at the second group of animals. And this time, we're not going to look at invertebrates. We're going to delete the I and the N and we're going to look at Vertebrates, well done. V E R B. Sorry, yes, V E R T. E B R A T E S. Vertebrates. Now, who can tell me if invertebrates have no backbone, what do vertebrates have? Backbone, yes, that's how we tell the difference. No backbone for invertebrates, or vertebrates are, have a backbone. B-A-C-K-B-O-N-E. For example, one really good example of vertebrates, people, us, we have a skeleton. And as part of our skeleton, down the middle of our body here, we have something called backbone. 
Yes, we all have a backbone, so we are vertebrates. So a good example of vertebrates are us, humans. Now let's think for a couple of minutes, who can give any other examples of what they think of vertebrates? Cat, tiger, yes. A tiger is a big cat, and also horse. A tiger, T-I-G-E-R. Horse, R. S-E. And then we'll have cat too. Lion. All of these are animals. Yes, they're all animals and we're looking at two different types. Lions. Yes, how about in the air? What do we see in the air? Birds. Birds too. And then in the sea, we might see some swimming. Shark is an example of a big one. Fish. Yes. All of these different types of animals, what do they all have? Backbone. So therefore, they are called vertebrates. Humans. Tiger. Horse. Fish. Cat. Lions. And birds are all examples of vertebrates because they are animals that have a backbone. But there are five different types of vertebrates. Remember the invertebrates, there was eight different types. With the vertebrates, there are five different types. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn about them. So now, guys, what we've got is a PowerPoint presentation to learn about vertebrates and their different types. So let's all turn to look at the TV screen. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about vertebrates. Lesson one. Yes. Now, if we look here in the picture, we can see different types of animals. And what we can see are the skeletons. So who can tell me what they think this is a skeleton of here? Snake. Yes. You see the inside of the snake? It has a skeleton. And what type of skeleton does it have? Backbone, yes. That's what makes it an inver a vertebrate. But what about this? Bird. This one pops about in the frog, yes. Fish. And then us, humans. These are the different types of vertebrates that we're going to learn about today. Animals are classified based on if they have a backbone or not in their bodies. So let's look at the two pictures. Here on the left, we see the skeleton of an animal. What animal do you think this is a skeleton of? Any guesses? What do we think? What animal? Monkey. Excellent. It's a monkey skeleton. This is the skeleton of a monkey. And here, on the back of its skeleton, what can we see? Backbone. So therefore, monkeys are vertebrates. They have a backbone. But in this picture, what can you see? Octopus. Like we've already learned, octopus, no backbone. So therefore, octopus, invertebrate. So you can see the difference between the two. Vertebrates are animals that do have a backbone. And an excellent example of vertebrates, us. You can see the human skeleton here. And this part, going right down the middle of our body, from our torso to our neck, is our backbone. That's what makes us vertebrates. But vertebrates can be classified into five smaller groups. Here they are here. Fish, birds, mammals, Reptiles, Reptiles, amphibians, the five different types of vertebrates. 
And let's take a closer look now. Fish are vertebrates that live in water and breathe through gills. Yes, but fish have a backbone. All fish have a backbone. So that means they are vertebrates. Who can tell me what type of fish they think this is? Remember, tiger fish, because you can see the stripes. So we call tiger fish. Next one, amphibians are vertebrates that can live on land or in water. Yes. What animal can you see in the picture? Frog. A frog is an example of an amphibian. And it's also an example of a vertebrate because it has a backbone. And the frog can go in water and the frog can come out. That's what an amphibian means. Next one, reptiles. Reptiles. Or vertebrates that are cold-blooded and have hard, scaly skin. Yes. What type of reptile can we see here? Snake. Anybody know what type of snake? Cobra. This is what we call a king cobra. Notice here on the snake, notice this part, the hood. This makes it one of the the most dangerous snakes, a king cobra. You don't want this type of snake to bite you. But all snakes have a backbone, so therefore they are vertebrates. Next one. What can we see? Not an eagle, even... Yes, birds. Birds are vertebrates that are warm-blooded and have wings and feathers. Yes. And this type of bird here is the biggest bird you will see on the planet. Not an eagle, even bigger than an eagle. This is a condor. Yes. If the condor was in our classroom and it spread its wings out, the wings would be outside the classroom. Huge. And then, mammals. Mammals are vertebrates that are warm-blooded and have fur or hair on their bodies. Yes. What type of mammals can you see? Monkeys, yes. Monkeys have fur and some hair on their bodies. Do monkeys have a backbone? Yes. That's what makes them vertebrates and what about us human beings belong to the mammal category of vertebrates yes we're very similar to monkeys millions of years ago we were the same as monkeys but we evolved to become humans but we still share lots of characteristics, such as warm blood, backbones, and fur or hair. So that's what makes us mammals, like monkeys. Any questions, guys? No. Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation so that they can begin to understand about vertebrates and their five different categories. And coming up, we've got a flashcard exercise for our students to practice getting to know the five different types of vertebrates. But first of all, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs, guys. And for this sequence, I think we'll play a game of teacher says. So listen carefully. Teacher says, touch your shoulders. Teacher says, touch your knees. Hands on head. Teacher says, arms in the air. Arms down. Teacher says, arms down. 
Teacher says, turn around. Teacher says, back the other way. And back the other way. Very good, everybody listening well today. Teacher says, jogging on the spot. Stop. Teacher says, stop. Teacher says, arms up. Teacher says, arms down. One arm up. Teacher says, one arm up. Teacher says, swap. Teacher says, swap. Swap. Teacher says, arms down. And teacher says, into a ball. Five, four, three, two, one. Teacher says, jump. Excellent, guys. And teacher says, please sit down. And teacher says, it's now time for our flashcards exercise for our students to practice matching the pictures of the different animals with the correct groups of vertebrates. Well, first of all, let's write the word vertebrates on the board again. V E R T E B R A T E S. And as we learned in our PowerPoint presentation, there are five different types of vertebrates. So teachers, what you'll need to do is separate the dialogue and the vocabulary from each other into individual words. Then we'll place the five types of vertebrates onto the board, the words, and then give our students pictures of animals. They have to bring them forward and match the correct animal with the correct type of vertebrate. So first of all, guys, the vocabulary. One type of vertebrates are reptiles. Okay. So we'll put the vocabulary on the board to form five columns. The next one, live in or out of water, amphibians. So let's put amphibians over here. Then the types of ones that you'll find in the sky, birds. Yes. And then the type of vertebrates that we belong to, same as monkeys, mammals. And finally, the type of vertebrates that live and swim in the sea, fish. fish. Okay, so we have our five categories. Reptiles, Reptiles. fish, fish. Birds. birds, mammals, and amphibians. We have nine pictures of different types of vertebrates. When I ask my students to close their eyes, one of them will wake up with a picture. They have to place in the correct category and speak the name of the animal correctly too. So ready guys, let's close our eyes. And the first flashcard is with Net. So Net, can you bring your flashcard to the front of class and show it to your friends. Okay, fish, what type of fish? Tiger fish. So let's see. Fish belongs, well done, Net, that's excellent. So the type of vertebrate we see here, fish. And can you say, Net, tiger fish? Excellent. High five, big round of applause for Net. Okay, time for our next vertebrate and our next student. Now the flashcard is with Pak Bung. So Pak Bung, can you bring your flashcard to the front of class? Birds, yes. Can anybody remember the type of bird, the largest bird in the world? Condor, yes. So let's see, where will the condor go? Of course, condor is a bird. So all together guys, birds. Condor. Excellent Pak Bung. High five, big round of applause for Pak Bung. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and play on with your own class for the next 10 to 12 minutes. And there are nine pictures in total, so choose a different student to bring each one forward. 
and then have the class practice speaking together. And we'll carry on playing here. So next student for the next flashcard. And the next flashcard is with Pat. So Pat, can you bring your flashcard to the front of class? And let's see what type of animal Pat has on his flashcard. What can we see? Humans, people, us. But like I've just heard, what category of vertebrates do we belong to? Excellent. So Pat, you can place into the mammals category here. And we can say, people, mammals. Can you say, Pat, people, mammals. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pat. It would have been strange if people would have gone to the birds or the fish categories because that's not us. We are mammals. And now time for our next student. And the next flashcard is with Nadia. So Nadia, can you please bring your flashcard to the front of class and show your friends. Let's see if we can guess what type of animal this is. Turtle. Turtle, yes. Turtle is a vertebrate, but which type? Reptile, excellent down, yes. A turtle is a reptile. So we can say, reptiles, turtle. Excellent, Nadia. High five, big round of applause for Nadia. Okay, and now for our next student. Now it's Stu's turn to bring his flashcard to the front of class. So Stu, you can bring your flashcard to the front of class. Okay, so what can we see on Stu's flashcard? What type of animal? What type of animal? Snake. Now what type of vertebrate do we think a snake is? Excellent, yes. A snake is a reptile, same as a turtle. So Tew, you can place your picture here. And we can say, snake, snake. Reptiles. reptiles. Very well done, Tew. High five, big round of applause for Tew. <laughs> and the next flashcard. We'll go to Dan. Dan, can you bring your flashcard to the front of class, please? And let's see what animal Down has. Okay, what animal does Down have on a flashcard? Monkey. monkey. So what type of vertebrate is the monkey? Mammals. mammals, same as us. So we can place it into the mammals category. Monkeys, monkeys. are mammals. Yeah. Excellent, high five and a big round of applause for Down for you guys. <laughs> Next one. Now it's Prow's turn to bring her flashcard to the front of class. So Prow, bring yours to the front and let's see what animal Prow has on her flashcard. Okay, so what animal can we see, guys? It's a frog. But what type of vertebrate is a frog? Amphibian, amphibian is correct. So Prow, you can place your picture in the amphibian category. And we can say together, frog, frog. amphibian. Excellent, Prow. Very well done. <laughs> and we still have two to go. And the next one is with Pangpon. So, Pangpon, can you bring your flashcard to the front of class? And show it to your friends. Shark. Shark is a big fish, yes. So, what category will you place yours? Pangpon, that's excellent. And together we can say, shark, shark. Fish. fish, yes. High five, big round of applause for Pang Pong, guys. <laughs> and now it's time for our final student and our final flashcard. So Lakau, can you bring your flashcard to the front of class and show it to your friends? Flamingo. Flamingo is... A bird. So, Laka, what category would you place flamingo? Perfect. And can we say together, 
Flamingo. Birds. Black Gow, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Black Gow. And now we've sorted our animals into the correct categories of vertebrates. We can speak one more time. Reptiles. Reptiles. Turtle. Turtle. Snake. Snake. Fish. Fish. Tiger fish. Tiger fish. Shark. Shark. Birds. Birds. Condor. Condor. Flamingo. Flamingo. Mammals. 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 Humans. Humans. Monkeys. Monkeys. Amphibians. Frog. Frog. And they are our five different types of vertebrates. Guys, that was brilliant. Very well done. <laughs> so now it's time for the worksheet part of our lesson. So teachers, what you need to do is give each student in your classroom their own worksheet. And what our students need to do is using the knowledge that they've learned in the PowerPoint and flashcards exercise, they have to draw and colour their own vertebrate. Now there are plenty of examples on the boards that they can choose from, or they can choose their own with the knowledge they already have. So give our students around 15 minutes to draw and colour their own worksheets of a vertebrate of their choice. And then at the end, we can have them present at the front of class. But what's the first thing to do, guys? Write our names on top. So, Ned, this one's for you. You're welcome. Pat, here's yours. Nadia, for you. You're welcome. Chu, here's yours. Down for you. You're welcome. Bell, for you. Bank one for you. You're welcome. And Laka. So, guys, you've learned about plenty of different types of vertebrates in today's lesson. You may know other vertebrates from your knowledge anyway, like animals at home, dog, cat. Now you need to draw and colour your own vertebrate. And at the bottom, write the sentence to complete what vertebrate you've chosen. For example, my vertebrate is a dog. And you can even draw people, because we are an example of vertebrates ourselves. So if you need any help with writing or spelling, let me know. And I'll try to guess what pictures it is you are drawing. Looks like Pak Bung is drawing a mammal. And I think the mammal Pak Bung is drawing people, us. We are vertebrates. Tail too. Very nice. And Bang Pon is drawing a fish. I think it's a big fish. Shark. Turtle, okay. I can write the names underneath the pictures for you. So we have turtle. Turtle. If you need help with any more spellings, guys, let me know. People. People. Shark. Do we know how to spell shark? S H A. S H A. Shark. S H A R K. Shark. Welcome back to class. 
At the end of the worksheet activity, our students are now ready to present their pictures of the vertebrate that they have drawn. And they're going to tell you about them too. So first of all, we have net. My vertebrate is a shark. Okay, I know bang pun. My vertebrate is a Okay, I know pat. Okay, and chew. Okay, and now for Nadia. My vertebrate is a turtle. Very good. And pro? My vertebrate is a people. A people. And then pakung. Okay. And now, lakgao? People too. Okay. And then down. My vertebrate is a turtle. And that was very well done, guys. So a big round of applause for everyone. And that's the end of today's lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting and now understand about vertebrates and the five different types. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again next time.